25-year teacher in the Akron Public Schools over at Miller South, band director for grades 5 through 8. And, of course, you've heard us talk many times about the wonderful stuff that goes on at Miller South. And Eric has been right in the middle of many of that uh, talk as far as Miller South is concerned. And, Eric, 35 years, my friend. Yes, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a good run. <laughs> You've seen a lot of things at Miller South, a lot of good things, I should add, at Miller South through the years. Yeah, well, I've been here since the first day, 22 mm -hmm. years, and right. we've had a couple of really exciting activities. Uh, two of my favorites were commission works that we did where we hired com composers to write music specifically for our band here. And we had the composers that come to school and work with the kids and teach them the piece and uh, have the music published and when other bands buy the music it says Miller South at the top of the page just above the title and it's, that's pretty cool that Miller South's name is getting out there and all this music. Well so many people have been instrumental in keeping the arts alive and well through the years in Akron Public Schools Eric but you know you go back about 10 years ago and when we were having all, all this discussion about cuts and everything and Akron Public Schools stay, stayed steadfast and said hey we're not going to cut any of the arts it's so important to education. I guess talk about you in particular, your role in the arts at Miller South and Akron Public Schools in general and how you've kept that beat alive on your side. Well, I, I started at Roswell Kent and I taught at some of the uh, neighboring elementary schools over there, David Hill, Barrett, Firestone Park, and Boris. And I was the assistant at Garfield. And after one year at Roswell Kent, uh, George Martin was the director at Garfield, transferred over to Ellett, and I replaced him at, at Garfield and was there for 12 years and, and had a nice run in the Firestone Park community. Made a lot of good friends down there, had lots of great students. And then uh, Margot Snyder had this vision about creating this art school here in Akron and draw kids from not just Akron City, but from the surrounding communities as well. And she created this school, and uh, I had the opportunity to come over here, and it, it was a great opportunity for me. And, um, you know, the rest is kind of history with that. We've had a good run. Uh, Dr. Sally Childs is the coordinator for music and fine arts now in the district, and she's been a good supporter of our program and the arts in general. And we have lots of good arts teachers. You know, you talked about some of the cuts that were made across the district, and it did impact the programs. But a lot of the staff we have have, have worked really hard to hold things together, and there's a lot of good teaching going on in a lot of the buildings across the district, not just at Miller South. We're talking with Eric Landgrader. He is going to be retiring from Akron Public schools after 35 years working as you heard him mention the last 22 at miller south and eric sometime down the road there's going to be students that will look at you and say that's the gentleman that really influenced me in band and art whatever that might be as far as the musical side of things eric how about you yourself i mean 35 years working teaching music and such where did it start for you well, my, my grandfather was a musician. He had a small group that would play at weddings and stuff, and he worked for uh, King Musical Instruments, which is now in Eastlake, Ohio, where they actually manufacture trumpets and trombones, brass instruments. So that's probably where the seed was planted there. But, you know, I always loved playing in band at school, and, you know, as I got older going through school, I thought, you know, if I could do a, make a living doing this, doing band, that would be pretty good. I couldn't see myself sitting behind a desk pushing papers or, or something like that. That just wasn't me. So, you know, to be involved with music your whole life, and I still am at playing in a couple of the local community bands, so, you know, it's fun to do that, too. You know, there is research, and I was just reading this, ironically, about a week and a half ago, that says students who have some sort of music background in school tend to do better in college and in their professional life. Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, just the skills involved in playing an instrument and, you know, working with others. You know, I, I tell people band is a team sport. I mean, just like just like football is, and the success of the group depends on the success of all the individuals working together for that common goal. So, and that's very true. And, you know, you're reading a foreign language and the notation, there's math involved, there's history involved. So you have to use a lot of skills to be a good musician. Eric, I imagine you get a lot of students coming back to see you through the years, and it's got to be gratifying to see what some of these students have done with themselves professionally and musically. Yeah, yes, it, it was overwhelming Thursday night after our spring concert here, all the students that came back, some people I hadn't seen in 20, in 30 years. There were actually a few of my former Garfield students that came to the concert. It was really nice. But as far as continuing in music, you know, it's exciting for me. They've already hired my replacement here. Uh, her name's Marissa Hirsch. She was a student of mine here at Miller South and a student at Firestone. And, and to me, that's really rewarding to have someone like that come in and to continue the program, someone who understands what we're all about here. Miller South. Well, talk about 
what it's all about from your standpoint. When you sit down and talk with those students through the years, day one, coming into your class, wanting to learn and expand their musical slash arts knowledge, what are some of the first things you tell them? Well, you know, it, it, and the goal isn't to make those students professional musicians. It's to develop a love and appreciation of music and the arts as part of that, you know, you learn the instrument, you play the notes, and that's great. But, you know, down the line, you know, what does that music mean for you? Uh, how does that affect your life later on? And, and I know some of the students that have had kids. I've had I have a couple of students right now who are children of former students, and, and that's great to see that because, you know, that shows that, you know, they appreciate that musical experience that they had. All right. Well, listen, Eric, so you're 35 years coming to a close. I imagine there's, okay, you're going to be retiring. The other side is... You're going to miss these students, aren't you? I, absolutely. You know, somebody asked me, uh, you know, what I'm going to miss the most, and that's going to be standing in front of the concert band or the jazz band, those older students when they're playing. And I've had some really good players, and, and there are certain days we just stop, and I tell the kids, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did because, you know, that was great. You know, a lot of those kids, they won't have that opportunity later on. You know, some of them are going to have academic requirements that won't allow them to play in the band, so I hope, you know, hope they take that experience with them. Any big plans after retirement here? No, not any big plans. We've got some traveling going on and uh, things like that. I'm going to keep playing. Hope to do more playing. <laughs> I imagine once it's in the blood, you're not just going to drop it for sure. Eric, congratulations. And I know I probably speak for Margo, who I know pretty well, and so many teachers and parents who've had their lives touched by you with their kids through the years. Uh, congratulations. And I'm sure there's a lot of claps out there right now for you for the job you've done with a lot of these students through the years. Thanks for joining us and congratulations on your retirement. Well, thanks a lot, Ray. It was a real mm -hmm. privilege. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Eric Langrader with us this morning. Miller South, as you heard him mention, the last 22 years there. Before that, a number of the different schools and retiring in Akron Public Schools after 35 years of teaching music slash arts to the kids in Akron Public Schools. That's good stuff. 20 minutes after 7. 720 at 1590 WAKR News Talk Sports. Let's get you updated with our Storm Watch Radar. Storms today. Some could be severe. We'll get up close to 80.